Anthony as well. But our next guest is here in the studio. This is probably the sharpest dressed guy that we've ever had in here, isn't he? This is the sharpest dressed guy I've ever actually seen in person. In person, yeah. yeah thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> as Gonzalez joins us right now. Hey, buddy, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. All right, so you really are well-dressed. This is a fantastic outfit, the suit, the shirt, the whole thing. I mean, you got the whole beard perfectly coiffed, the whole deal. You are part of the look. He's so a, he's a how, how do you model. pull that off? How do you pull all that off, buddy? I just wake up. No. <laughs> you just, you just uh, wake up. Just I, like I just that. wake up and have a perfect beard. I was blessed that way. Um, <laughs> you do? I, uh, it's like the perfect beard. You know? It, Look at it. See, the, the girls in my office, they told me I should shave it, but it's just if nah, I do man. that, I lose I lose. It myself. looks moisturized, yeah. too. Like, yeah. when I got a beard that thick, I wound up with serious beard dandruff. How you get it moisturized? I put some you, oil on it. Do you do yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. it? I, t- I take good care of it. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... But yeah, I'm very fortunate. I work for Tom James, and um, I do custom clothing. I help guys and ladies out with their wardrobe, and uh, basically, I help them look the way they want to be perceived. That's nice. Custom clothing for people, meaning it's tailor made to yeah. them. Talk to me a little bit about that compared to off the rack. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of guys and ladies are used to going to a store, and they really like a shirt or a pair of pants. Uh, and you know a lot of times they don't have their size and my clients will never face that because um, what I do I provide you know multiple swatches hundreds and hundreds of swatches of cloth and fabrics then basically we style it however they want to and we custom make it uh, specific for them so I take about 30 different measurements like for you example right, right. you, you lost some weight Thursday yeah yeah like I'm making I, you I a shirt my, I took my shirt off and he's like dude you don't need to take your shirt yeah, off yeah it was not it well, was, he's, it just, he's just really happy that, you know, he, you know, there's less of him now. So he's I just to want show to show it off. He's he's to you show have to. You have yeah. to show it off. I don't blame you. I, I, I just uh, have more rolls in the, than a bakery. You know what I mean? So now n- I don't. Not, n- not anymore. No. Right? No. You saw it. Yeah. You saw yeah. No. Sure. I, uh, he was admiring it. He, he's, he, was, he was like, wow, you look I, good. I, I, did I say that? No. Uh, no, uh, you, uh, no, you, no, you, no. You're like, did I say that? No, actually, you did. I don't remember saying that. But, but yeah, um, long story short, we help out, you know, clients with, uh, you know, um, their clothing. We give them a better selection. And uh, and I go to the office or their home and just make it, they experience the shopping experience way more comfortable. Wow, so you go to their office or home. That's Correct. kind of a lost thought. That used to be the way tailoring or custom yeah. clothing was done. Well, we pride ourselves in customer service. Um, it's, I'm in the people business. I uh, Look at that smile when he smiles. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, I. Uh, my job is to make people happy, and I I can make an impact in their life because they wear my clothes, my clothing, and uh, it's very important to me because people want to be perceived a certain way, and I uh, I allow for that. Clothing is a big part of the perception Absolutely. that you put off with people. Isn't Absolutely. It? Yeah. I mean, as soon as anybody sees you, they know you have a lot of uh, style. That you will have a lot of self-respect, that you feel good about it, yourself, it exudes right? Success. It does. Yeah. It exudes you know, when I look success. At this man, I, I just, I just, I know there's a successful person. In right? Front of me. Yeah. Look at him. He's, yeah. he's got everything just right. He's got the whole thing. I now. feel like I'm in the middle of a GQ magazine. Right? <laughs> he's GQ the barbecue. Right? <laughs> <laughs> How long you been holding on to that joke? Long time. <laughs> good back. job, buddy. He was saving it for today, right? Chipping yep. Dales, chipping whales. Oh, <laughs> not <laughs> right, right, dude. <laughs> Not right. No, he's the before you're the F. Well, what I said. No, before you're the F. There you go. I can never b- grow a beard like that, though. Nah, look at that. Know. All right, so that's th- impressive. You said thirty different measurements just for me, just to make a shirt. Because again, you wanted to Shirts look. A, a, a little, I'm talking about a suit. No, but slacks. you still yeah. did a lot of different yeah, of measurements. Course. You measured all kinds of stuff on on my body to make sure they get. Of course. You want this. Sh- it's such a difference to have that to make it custom fit just right for the. Yeah, person. every every measurement I took. Um, of you is independent of each other, meaning like the, your neck size has nothing to do with your arm sleeve. So, for example, you're used to going to the store and buying a shirt, and you know you buy something that fits your neck, but it's way too blousy. Way too. Uh, so in here, it's way too. It's okay, way too blousy. Blousy means in the middle here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, my job is to make it however you feel comfortable with a shirt. So if you are more like a younger guy and you want a more of a trim cut, um, I could make that for you without sacrificing the neck, the neck. Right, which you're not going to get when you get an off-the-rack shirt. It's, exactly. Right? So most of the times, there's a, a, an off-the-rack shirt may fit you well in one area, but in other areas, not exactly. so much. Exactly. You sacrifice one area for the other. 
And then you can see the difference when you're wearing yeah, that. You course. can see that it doesn't like the, the neck doesn't close or the arm sleeves are the wrong side right. or it's too blousey. How how did how did you learn? What did you go to school for this? Or, uh, what what how did this happen? How did this come about? Um, yes, whenever I started with the company, we uh, we go to s school. Okay. And they teach us about fabric and you know how to learn about the client, all this stuff about clothing that. I had no idea. But you had Measuring. a passion for it. That's yeah, why of you course. The um, in the first place. I'm very passionate about clothing, and I'm very passionate about people, uh, because what I do allows me to build relationships uh, with my clients, nice. and uh, and I really enjoy that. Very cool. It's critically important that you do have those relationships with your client, because once again, inside the making of a custom outfit for somebody. Some, one, somebody likes it one way, somebody else likes it another way. They're all good, yeah. but you've got to get to know that person and know what, they, they, what they're into, what looks best on them, what's going to work for them, what gives them that confidence. Do you have, do you have an ability to look at someone's skin tone and tell them, tell them what color looks good on them? Absolutely, yeah. Really? What, what color would be good on, on people? What color looks good on me, buddy? I'll, I'll say tan, like your beige colors, like your... Uh, your like earth, tones, is earth that, tones. Is that because of his, his skin? Or like gray. gray well, it's because yeah, of the snow on the roof, right? Yeah. It's it looks good. good. I uh, yeah. I tried it for a bit actually. Did you really? You went yeah. snow on the roof for yeah. a while. I I even went blonde. I was uh, I was changing things up a little bit, but I look. You if, look if you if you actually look at my web website, there's a picture of me with curly blonde hair. Oh wow! Very good. It's it's ridiculous. What, it's what, <laughs> co what color looks good on me? Um, blue. Blue. Yeah. Interesting. You look good with blue. Light yeah. blue or, or dark blue. Um, like a royal French blue. I was blue thinking that too, a yeah. royal blue. A yeah. royal blue. Which is that nice thick bl yeah. blue. Yeah. Oh, okay. That'll All right. look good on you. Interesting. Yeah. Speaking of which, while, while you're on that topic, let me go ahead and, and, and post your website on our sure. website. What's the, what's the name of your website? Uh, Tom James slash Laz, L-A-Z Gonzalez. Tom You'll James. see my, uh, my ridiculous, uh, picture. Say, uh, say, well, Tom James slash? Slash Laz, L-A-Z. Uh-huh. Gonzalez, G O N Z A L E Z. Gonzalez spe spelled the correct way with okay. a Z at the end. Got it. Okay, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, com, we're going right? to put that right on our Facebook page right now for all of you to see. Uh, so you do both men and women, is that right? That's right. So which one's easier to work with? Um, men. Really? Uh, yeah, because men, uh, ladies have more curves. Meaning more measurements. Wait now, you were looking at all my curves, talking about how you had to get. I got lots of curves. Um, your curves are easier to work with, <laughs> but uh, because it's he's very because diplomatic. Because it's just one big curve. It's right? one it's giant yeah, big curve. Yeah, L ladies. It's um, like a slope, actually. <laughs> well, ladies is uh, we we do a great job with our ladies line, um, but it's just a little bit more of a process because, sure. like I said, it's just the way they like their stuff to fit is usually uh, a lot more tighter, a lot more Sure. Fitted, so for so. men, you make what, tell us a little bit about the types of different clothes you make for yeah. men. Yeah, um, we do everything from uh, custom suits, slacks, shirts, and we also carry jeans, and uh, we partner with certain brands uh, for shoes. So um, we carry a little bit of everything. So ideally, if you hate shopping and you never want to go to a store again, you don't have to. Wow. I could just go to your house or your office. So it's, it's that easy. Wow, I love yeah. that. Wow, well, that allows you to then not only get the kind of clothes you want, but again, a guy like Laz, who's an expert at it, to make sure that it fits right and you get the. So you'll go through it with your clients. He went over it with mm -hmm. me. He had about 30 different swatches for shirts, mm -hmm. okay? Maybe more than that. And oh, he looked at them all with me, and then he kept putting them up against me, you know? And he was like, okay, no, nah, I don't like this one on you. And then we finally found the right one that we felt like, you know, he told me, okay, this this looks good on you. Yeah, so, well, I mean, yeah. I would trust him. Exactly. Yeah. The guy's an expert. Look how he's dressed. you got to say, know. wait a minute. He knows right. what he's doing. And and ideally, you want to get to the point that you want that I know everything that you have in your wardrobe, and I could make recommendations based on that. Um, as opposed to, like, you go shopping to a mall, you go to X store, and uh, a representative helps you one day. Then you go to the next week, and somebody new helps you and has no idea what you got the week before. I have that history with you, and I could tell you this shirt I'm showing you goes with your the slacks we got three months ago or whatever. That's really cool. Are you are you familiar with trend forecasting? Are you looking at what what's what's coming up next year on men's fashion? Yeah, fashions? Oh, they they keep we keep track of all that and uh, we make sure we stay on top of it. Um, however, a lot of my clients are very traditional. Yeah. you know they yeah. won't change even if I force them to. But uh, but yeah. That's but really you got to cool. stay right on the trends. You got to stay on the cutting edge of the trash the fashion trends. Of course, yeah, it's part of my job. Yeah. Mm. And, and so for ladies, you do what kind of clothing? 
um, the ladies, we don't have as much flexibility as we do with men. With ladies, really? it's more, more business wear, uh, more like your jackets, blazers, skirts, pants, um, as opposed to like guys. We have all the business clothing, but we have a lot of a lot more casual options for for the gentlemen. That's, that's really neat. But how about a dress for a woman? Yeah, we we have nice, beautiful dresses for ladies. Yes. Yeah, because I'm looking to get him into a nice dress. Um, and I'm looking to punch you right in your face. What I'm just right saying. <laughs> I'm saying you could look very, can we get you a nice little hoop skirt and a thing there, and we put you out front. I'm going to speak to HR about this. I am HR. All right, well, I'm speaking to HR <laughs> about this. <laughs> All right, we'll talk during the break. Yeah, we'll straighten yeah, it out. Uh, <laughs> I, got a problem with, I got a problem with somebody I'm working with right now, okay? Yeah, why? Yeah. Because they're being they're 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 a little bit a little, think, mean to you? little sexual. No, little, little sexual. no. Yeah. I, All right, stop. We're in the middle of talking like the last now. Uh, all right. Tell me this. Why does this matter Stop so much to you? Stop wearing in college. I don't care about this question. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Did you not say that out loud? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh God. My Tell me the why of this for you, brother. Why does this mean so much to you to do this for folks? Where's your heart in this? Um, I get to make an impact on people. You know, this determines a lot, determines a lot of their confidence, how they feel, how they approach their, their day. Um, yeah. Like, if you can make an impact on people how the, on their mood and, you know, their confidence, why not? When you put the right, he's, he's so right, because yeah. when you put that right outfit together and it fits you right, you do have more confidence. You do feel good of about course. yourself, you know? And, again, I'm an off-the-rack guy my whole life, and it's hard for me to buy clothes off the rack because I'm not normal-sized. Right. Don't look at me. I mean, <laughs> don't look at me. I'm not I'm normal. Not, I left that for you as a little layup. I, I left that as a little layup for you. No, 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 I'm not no, normal no, size. No, no, because listen, I'm going to be kind today. Unlike you, I'm going to be kind to you, Gigantosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean by that is certain parts of me are normal size, but other parts of me... Like your head. Are not so are normal huge. size. Yeah, exactly. Did you notice that? I have a really big head. Huh. I, I didn't measure it, so. <laughs> he didn't have enough tape measure. <laughs> no, he, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it wasn't enough of that. He was tying two of them together. No, but, you know, I still got the mid area here. Mm -hmm. you, so, in other words, a lot of guys are that way, too. They have that, you know. But I lost uh, an inch and a half of my neck. Did you really? Yeah. House. yeah. I believe that. I went from a 19 to a 17 and a half. Really? Yeah. I'm a 17 and a half. Yeah. We have the same neck size That's now. That's crazy. We're in the same piece schedule. Oh. And we're starting <laughs> to look alike. No, we're not. Yes, we are. <laughs> no, we don't. I'm pretty, too. You know, yeah, a little bit. Ah, right, right, thank you. There uh, you go. Uh, how, many, how many different kinds of clients around here do you have? Like, where you go to people's houses, businesses? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, yeah, I work through referrals and uh, word of mouth. Usually my uh, best advocates are my clients. Of course, because you do a great job yeah. for them. And, you know, they get complimented, and they pass my name around. And uh, a lot of my clients are very helpful. They give me... You know their friends and their colleagues to call on, but um, but yeah. You mentioned to me when we were talking the other day that okay for you, you have a certain style. You like that kind of shirt, right? With a suit. Now right. some other people they don't like that kind. Yeah. So that's when you talk about that personal touch, getting to know them. Of course. Asking questions, being with, let me see what you currently have in your wardrobe. You're trying to get a feel for who that person is, and then you want to make suggestions to maybe make some changes. But not too much. Right. Um, for example, I'm not going to put you into a GQ super slim tight outfit because you'd look ridiculous, right? Uh, even, even more than now. I, I did not say that. <laughs> what? What's the matter with the way I'm dressed today? No, no, no. I just meant in general. I Please go ahead. What were you saying? Right. Yeah. So... Obviously, I make recommendations that make sense. Right. Because um, I have, I, I, it's funny because I have clients that their wife tells them that they should be more modern and do this and that, and you know, I, I look at them like maybe we could take one level up, right. but not where, because it's just it makes no sense. Right. So I do what makes sense for the client. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, so, absolutely. Absolutely. So it's my job to make them look a certain way, and especially how they want to be perceived. So I'm not going to put a you know older gentleman, 50 years old, in a wait. You know, wait, what do you mean older is 50 years old? That's well, older, than older, 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 uh, older than us. Older, wait, yeah, we're, wait, wait, yeah. don't put yourself younger, in the same we're, category well, with we're, him. We're younger than you. You could be his father. That's not how old are you? 27. Yeah, you could right, be his right, father. Yeah. <laughs> Like I just said. It's, it's the, the beard makes Damn. me look a little older, right? Just a bit. 
Son, just carry on. Seven yeah. years old. I have a bunion on my left foot that's older than this kid. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I believe that. You want to see it? No. No. Uh, okay. No, but what do you mean older at 50? Say older at 60. 50, 60, 70. 60, 60, 60 70. Don't say I'm 52 years old. You're killing me, bro. You're young. There yeah. you go. That's the new 32, right? There it is. There it is. All right. All, right. All right. There are people out there that have never done this before, though, have a custom shirt made or a custom, you know? You know, like just afraid of getting started. They're worried about the process. They're worried about the cost. They're worried about, you know, the, the time and all that kind of stuff. What do you say to that person? Um, let's just put it this way. I'll, I'll use myself as an example. Ever since I tried custom, I haven't gone back because I also have a bigger neck, and uh, it's hard for me to find stuff that actually fits the way I want to. But um, as far as the price, let's just put it this way. You could buy a $40 shirt at a store, and at the end of the day, it's going to cost you more uh, you know, long term because four $40 shirts will last you, what, a few wears and pr pretty much is worn out as opposed to a good quality custom shirt that will last you, you know, about a hundred wears, about two, three years or more. Um, and then long term, it just makes sense. And you have something in your closet that you could actually wear anytime you want and feel fits the way you want it to, as opposed to, you know, a cheap shirt that you got that you're only going to wear twice. Right. You get what you pay for. You yeah, know? Well, of course. Uh, and that's, that's the name of the game, you value. But they're getting your expertise also. They're getting the whole mm -hmm. company behind them. Yeah. Right, and they're getting the opportunity to custom craft a wardrobe that's going to give them style and, and and uniqueness to be able to showcase their personality and then you know, gain some confidence, feel better about who they are and what they're all about. Especially when you do, but depending on what you do for a living, you know, you, the clothing you wear it could be everything. As oh, far absolutely. As what you, you know? First impressions are everything. You don't get a chance to make a second impression, people. You only get a chance to make one impression sometimes. So you got to look your best. Wait, wait, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression? No, you don't. <sighs> I know, right? So if they want to learn more about you, buddy, again, how do they find out? How do they get a hold of you? Again, uh, my website, uh, which is a company website, tomjames.com slash my name, Laz, L-A-Z, Gonzalez. Uh, and, um, yeah, you can contact me through there. All my uh, information is there, uh, email and phone number. And, um, yeah, we could set up an appointment, and I could help out as much as I can. Yeah, we just shared that to our Facebook. And, again, yeah. you've got education and background and experience in this. How long are you doing this now? Um, I'm actually in my first year. Okay, but uh, you, so you're good. Yeah. He's good. This guy I, knows but how, when, Real quick, I know we're, we're almost out of time, but sure. when did you start this passion for clothing? Uh, I've had a passion for clothing for Your a while. whole life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. My wife had a passion to make clothing, and she didn't go back to school until she was – 35 and now she's uh, she's a clothing designer at, at hey, Fanatics. Yeah. so she she had that passion her entire life and then finally got her degree and then now she's making clothing too so hey, God yeah. bless you for what you're doing yeah, yeah, thank that's you awesome. yeah. alright we're really impressed with this young man again he came over and he custom fit me for a shirt why did he custom fit me because well it was a gift I got well, what's wrong with it? What, I don't get a gift? I don't get a, Talk right, to the person who gave me the gift and see why they didn't I'm give you one, too. What am I, chopped liver? I'm, I'm just, just saying, I just somebody posted, I just bought me a gift. I posted you. It was a gift uh, somebody gave me. Oh, okay, well, all right. I won't say the person's name. I'll just whisper it. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth, I thought we were fr I thought we were friends. <sighs> well, maybe she figured it was like putting a pig, it was like putting lipstick on a pig. Like, what's the sense? Like me, it's worth it. Like you, what's the sense of what putting a custom shirt on that? Because I'm, I'm a movie star, damn it. Because there you go. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like maybe they can make a custom T-shirt for you. I'm so glad I'm back at work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Welcome back. I buddy. cannot wait till August when I can take the entire month off. What happened? Shoot, You're not yeah. getting a whole month. Oh yeah, yeah. No. I'm filming the entire. I'm filming the rest no. of the film in August. No, no, not month. Oh, you said I'm a week. So you well, said a week. I'll probably we a couple talk. weeks. No. Hey, listen. So, so, no. so, you, so you like you like it when I'm here? I love it. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, because you get to pick on people. You had to pick on no, me. No, I'm you? not picking on you. I'm you just saying. You a little bit. You little don't bit. exactly. You're not exactly a fashion maven, is what I'm saying. You're well, not of course a, you're not I'm not because source. I haven't had. I haven't had. Now that. you got last. There you go. Now you got last. Now you're in business. Now you got what you need. There you go. See, it's that's why we kind of. This is actually all kidding aside. Yeah. 
We didn't want to tell you. We're doing it set it up like this here, so it's more, you know, what you call uh, subtle. Uh -huh. But this is actually a wardrobe intervention. intervention? Yep. That's cool. Do you know yeah. that was one of the things I wanted to change yeah. in my life was yeah. my wardrobe. Yeah, yeah, and that's what that's I was why I'm here. here. It's a wardrobe that's, that's intervention. That's awesome. That's the reason I'm here. Thanks, buddy. You're paying for it, right? No. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Pete. Okay, awesome. <laughs> he said yes, right? No. He just said yes. No, no. no. I don't pay for it. He's independently wealthy. And all right. Uh, anyway, uh, Laz, thanks so much for right. being here today, buddy. Thank Looking you. forward to doing it. stuff with you. They're going to be part of the network. And again, uh, he's going to take all my fat clothes in so that I don't look, you know, so because it really does. It's so noticeable now when I wear a pair of pants that you uh, can like, like see. It's like a parachute. You know, yes, yeah, like I'm wearing a yeah. parachute. So we got to fix that. So he's going to fix yeah. that for us. All right, cool. all right. So again, go check out right on our Facebook page. Okay. Uh, and check out the website there for this from Tom James or forward slash Laz Gonzalez. Uh, he can help you out with custom calls for men and women. And uh, get it the right size, get the right style, uh, make you look and feel like a million bucks. That's what he's all about. That's our guy, Laz Gonzalez, and we're really proud that he's part of the network. He does look like a million bucks. He does look like a million bucks. Look Thank you. He looks like a million bucks. <laughs> Just ignore the picture on the, on the website. It's pretty bad. <laughs> looks like a million bucks. All right, we'll take a break. We come